good evening everyone and welcome to our day 40 at ang topic natin for today is when God seems distant um, naranasan niyo ba yung feeling na parang ang layo-layo ng may God yung isang araw pagising mo parang ang dry ng spiritual feelings mo you pray you rebuke the enemy you confess your sins like spiritual fasting ka like spiritual counseling ka pa yet, wala pa rin nangyari. Tapos, mapapatanong ka na lang kung ano mo yung mali sa'yo. Pinaparasahan ka ba ni God? Ayaw ka ba niya kausap? Well, the truth is, there's nothing wrong with you. It's not you. Normal yan. It's actually a part of testing and maturing your relationship with God. So, para sa mag-asawa, di ba? Um, nung una pa lang, na mag-boyfriend and girlfriend kayo ng girlfriend mo, sobrang sweet nyo sa isa't isa na parang halos araw-araw kayo magkausap, magkasama and halos din na kayo magkahiwalay, lahat ng relationship ginagawa, after relationship goals ginagawa, no? Pero once um, Paul, nakaka-relate ka dito, di ba? Once nakaka-relate, uh, nakaka- tingin mag-asawa na kayo, nagka-level up na yung maturity at relationship at trust nila sa bawat isa. Hi Maverick! And kahit hindi na sila mag-uusap yung mag-asawa, alam na nila na sobrang nagtatrust sila sa isa't isa at mahal na mahal nila yung isa't isa. Wala na dun sila sa mga pa-baby moments nila. And, um, di ba tayo nung baby Christians pa lang tayo, nung tinagka pa lang natin si Lord sa buhay natin, feel na feel natin yung presence niya na sobrang on fire na on fire tayo. And, alam mo yun, parang feel na feel natin yung love natin kay God and uh, ganun din tayo sa kanya. Sobrang love na love natin siya. Pero, what if maramdaman natin yung parang ang layo-layo ni sa atin? Alam mo yun, yung parang kahit anong tawag natin sa kanya, yung phone niya cannot be rich. Cannot be rich yung phone niya. Hindi, hindi natin siya makausap. And yung pag nagpa-pray tayo, hindi nakakarating sa, nakakarating sa langit yung prayer natin. Alam mo yun, parang nag-bounce lang siya sa bubong natin. Hindi siya lumalagpas. And we've been looking for answers, confirmations, and signs. Pero wala pa din. And minsan pa, darating na lang sa point na matatanong na lang talaga natin na, Paano ba talagang God? Nakikinig ba talaga siya? Lalo na sa mga panahon na may pagdadaanan tayo ng mga matitinding problema, dun pa natin siya minsan para hindi nakikita. And syempre, may hirap talaga yun. So kapag dumating tayo doon sa ganong sitwasyon, well, kailangan natin mag-pray sa Kanya. Kailangan natin sabihin kay God yung naramdaman natin because God can handle our doubts, our anger, grief, confusion, at lahat ng mga katanungan natin. Kaya niya i-handle yun. And we know that God our God is our hope. Kaya minsan, parang kapag hindi natin siya maramdaman, eh parang feeling natin is hopeless na tayo. And do you know that admitting your hopelessness to God can be a statement of faith? Yes, it's a statement of faith. Because we believe in God that we know that He listen to our prayer. At kahit ano pang sabihin natin sa Kanya, kahit magalit tayo sa Kanya, kahit anong sabihin natin, kahit kung anong tanong natin sa Kanya, mahal pa tayo ni God. So let's just pull you know, pour out our heart to the Lord at sabihin natin sa Kanya lahat na nanaramdaman natin, we can really be honest to Him. Especially kapag talaga may problema tayo at feeling natin, hindi siya nakikinig sa atin. And let us just be reminded that our God is unchanging God regardless of what circumstances and how we feel because God is more concerned that we trust Him. He's not concerned of what we feel towards Him. So, tandaan lang natin that He is good and loving, that God is all-powerful, that He notices every detail of your life. God is in control, okay? God is in control and God has plan for your life. And the most important is God saves us. And magtiwala ka, natutuparin ni God lahat ng promises niya sa iyo. Kahit parang feeling mo, wala namang mangyayari sa prayers mo. Walang nangyayari. Minsan, parang kabaliktarong pa yung nangyayari sa iyo na pinagdadasal mo kay God. And, alam mo yun, di lang natin alam na may mas better, may mas better pang nakalaan para sa iyo. 
So wag natin kalimutan what God has already done for us. God's son died for us. That he is the greatest reason why uh, the greatest reason to worship him, diba? At iyon yung pinakamatinding sacrifice na ginawa niya for us dahil sa sobrang pagmamahal niya sa iyo, sa akin at sa ating lahat. And kung feeling natin God abandoned us alam mo yun, and the things are not working out the way we want it sabi nga sa Isaiah 55 verse um, 8 to 9 for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways declares the Lord for the heavens are higher than the earth so my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts so yeah let's continue to trust God at hayaan natin yung will niya and hindi yung will natin yung mangyari because we really don't know yung picture kasi minsan nandun lang tayo sa maliit na picture eh hindi natin na picture yung ano ba talaga yung plano sa atin ni God so just trust God maybe it's not yet working right now but just continue continuously trust God whatever circumstances in our life so our point to ponder is God is real no matter how I feel and verse to remember I will never leave you nor forsake you. In Hebrews 13 verse 5, sinabi ni Gadyo, so hindi ka niya iiwan sa kahit anong laban mo, sasamahan ka niya. And question to consider, how can we stay focused on God's presence, especially when we feel, when we feel He is so distant? So, ayun, thank you so much! Hi, Richmond, Miyong, Maverick, maraming maraming salamat sa pagsama sa akin. And, um, samahan niyo ulit ako bukas sa day 15. Bye!